Hello, stiller people. So, I think it's time for another sketchbook from college. I don't know why I'm seeing it. Sketchbook from, it's a big one. It's a biggie. Well, it used to be a biggie. But yeah, we'll be doing this. So let's do it. Okay, we're dead. All right, Shining Stars. And this sketchbook is from about 2005, six, somewhere around there. And we start off with a lot of silhouettes. I was, yeah, I was doing a lot of, a lot of silhouettes. And just some random inking stuff that, you know. I don't know why. Well, I was trying to work out the, the fantasy world in my head and the races that would be in it. And yeah, that's, man, there's a lot of these. But yeah, silhouettes are great for, you know, studying, getting the outline, out, the outward appearance, the easiest to digest version. And I was also doing a little bit of a, we were reading the Arabian Nights. And yeah, these are these, those are these. Some of those you know, illustration studies and whatnot for the book. Uh, some Marshall story, class notes. Because, you know, you got to get better at story. Staging a scene and analysis. That was pretty cool class. I like learning about, you know, stuff about art and whatnot. It's cool, you know. These are a lot of background studies in the ink, just to get an idea. I like that one, that was good. More people, or oh, elves, yeah. A lot of elves. Hey, a dwarf. <laughs> this is a, yeah, I had an idea for a giant riding a, a large boar more Arabian Nights where there was a genie that was, you know, huge and could carry people or something. Hey, it's my character. Yeah, I hope you show up more in this. There he is again and some other odd, odd bits. But yeah, this is a... Uh, sketchbooks are cool to look at. Hey, Hellboy and Stitch, I think. Because it reminds you of, you know, what you used to think about in the past. And that's always fun. Well, unless it's terrible thoughts in the past. But, you know, sketchbook, hey, it's myth again. Yeah, I, you know, some characters in your mind will always stick around and will float from, from sketchbook to sketchbook. And, you know, you're just like, you're just itching Hey, a comic book panel for the Arabian Nights where the genie comes out of the water, which was a, a cool scene in my mind. But yeah, it's, you know, sketchbooks are just a way to get ideas out. You know, backgrounds done from a magazine, I believe. More backgrounds. Hey, sphinxes. I like sphinxes. I draw a rather amount, a large amount of sphinxes. Animal studies from the Los Angeles Zoo. Yeah, these, uh, I think some Hellboy inks, just silhouette stuff. Uh, I was reading Naruto at the time, so. I had to put some Naruto fan art in there. <laughs> but as you can see, I there's just a lot of randomness. Pocahontas, a, a movie I fell asleep. I usually like Disney movie films, but that one, that one didn't hold my attention. Some more Yalanor, uh, Myth, 
damn, I got to make some better illustrations. Because I think what you're doing in sketchbooks, right, is you're trying to learn and figure out how to draw so that you can draw what's in your head better. And those stories that you have in your mind, you want to get those out, but you're not quite there yet. And so a sketchbook is, you know, where you you get the practice in. You know, from looking at other stuff and stuff in your imagination. And, uh, this was from reading the about the Trojan War, the mythical version. That's not the Iliad. No. I can't quite remember. Some Amazons. Some Amazon students. And I was trying to think of. Goblins. I like those Goblin Trio. I think they're cool. Ah, uh, I wonder what what movie this is from. From those were from. More, more, more silhouette studies. More. I was really big into that. Tarzan. And a myth and his rival. Ah, uh, that's my favorite. This, well, this is one of my favorite drawings. The Lost and Found Edges. I like that. That's really cool. Well, it was cool at the time. I thought it was awesome. <laughs> you know? uh, sometimes, it, you, you know, when you do a, a cool drawing, you're like, yeah, I got it this time. You know, a pirate lady from this fictional fantasy world I was making. Uh, Conan, or maybe it's a Thor. I was looking at animation and simplified shapes and whatnot. Yeah, Odin. And trying to figure out if it was animated, what would, you know. What would Thor and Odin look like in a, an animated film if they were simplified? Loki. I didn't quite draw Odin's wife, but that Loki's look kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. My other character, I forget what he was about. I was watching Troy, and that's when I did this. Uh, Wolverine as uh, Lone Wolf and Cub. What a myth. Oh, his rival. That was one of my favorite characters, Myth. This is his rival, the Wind Guy. There's a lot of stolen stuff from Naruto, but <laughs> in that, that whole story concept, I still like it. Three little pigs, some sad little girls that I had to do for a class, and some monsters, yes. There were two projects going, a cute little girl, well, a sad little girl, and monster something. I can't even remember what the assignment was, but you had to do some kind of a terrifying monster, and, and then as an opposite, sad little girls were some kind of... I don't know. Studies of head shapes. Ah, uh, this idea I had for a cartoon or, where he was like Van Helsing. And this is his team of odd creatures. There's an elf girl, a girl with wings, a surfer guy, and an alien. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, background studies for animation. That character. Yes, and he finds... I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. Uh, he finds King Arthur's sword and he breaks it in half. And then he just has like the hilt and he's waving it around. And those are the villains for that story. This is a, a movie. You probably know what that was. Oh, the memories of... <laughs> hey, early Willis Henry. Man, that, that's just some bad drawings. But <laughs> uh, I think some National Geographic stuff and more Willis Henry. These are better. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure them out. A lot of exploration of uh, his dad and Willis Henry. His dad is big, but Willis Henry is small, and so size, proportions, and whatnot. You're messing with. How does it look? Hula dancing girls. Hula is a beautiful dance and 
trying to capture that motion it was pretty cool I don't know what that is some of it you don't I don't remember but some of it I remember vividly this is Willis Henry's dad and mom other random bits and bobs and man this goes <laughs> uh, I think my mostly my main focus right is was character stuff in college like I knew I liked backgrounds yeah studying lots of character studying silhouettes of characters studying uh, you know done with minimal lines this is all Amazonian stuff and I think you can tell who she is but yeah, I've always liked characters and you know it usually takes me a while, like this kiss drawing. It takes me a little bit to get into the character and to try to figure the character out. And that's what a cool sketchbook can do. These are all Willis Henry studies. I think drawn from Dragon Ball ma a manga. Like the original when Goku was little. Just uh some shapes that he would make and I was thinking the same thing. Uh, character lineups and the dragon dance from Avatar: The Last Airbender. Um, those are those are cool, cool study. Like art in motion, you know. Can you get the, you know, can you get the fluid motion? Man, that was kind of cool. I like that. I should do more of that. Okay, these were an Ahsoka sketch that a, an artist did at Nickelodeon. A facial sheet, and I took my character, Myth, and then drew the expressions. And that was, that was really cool. That was a good project. Well, for myself. I think you know what movie this is from. But yeah, I was uh, trying to do some designs about if they were animated. I will tell you what the, what the, you know, the movie is, but you know, you know. Uh, myth and some small studies. Willis Henry! And thinking about the city that he would be in. And Willis Henry's rival, which looks an awful lot like Le Vegeta. <laughs> uh, or at least that's in my mind. I, I love Vegeta, so I have to make a rifle that takes some inspiration from Vegeta, of course. He's the best. Uh, more Willis Henry and some animal folks. More animal folks and a city something. You know, just playing around. Just trying to keep it loose and light. And as we come to a close, this is Peter Pan. Peter Pan is the most influential movie for me because at a young age, I realized somebody makes this and I want to do that. And I saw Peter Pan seven times in theaters, seven times. My brother almost went mad. He was mad at me. He was like, no, I'm, I'm not watching this damn film again. <laughs> but my mom understood. And so she let me see it by myself. But, yeah. Peter Pan. I was just studying the shapes to get this illustration that I had in my mind. But the Lost Boy and Lost Boys and Peter Pan. And yeah. That is the end of this sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.